Hello, hello, and welcome to the iBible membership. Okay, so what I want to do is take you into this new edition by tapping my twirl down menu. And the way this is structured is you have your introduction. It says coming soon because I'm recording it right now. It won't say that more than likely when you access this. And we have been unofficially doing scripture prompts in the iBible group since May. And so I've gone ahead and I have listed all of the prompts inside here. The month doesn't necessarily mean the month that you have to do them. They're all undated so you can choose to do them any month that you'd like. Each month is a different topic and naturally if you complete one of the topics behind the month you can go ahead and check it off so that you know that you've completed those prompts. So let me show you what it looks like inside. Disclaimer, it's going to look a little sparse right now because I'm just starting this membership up. So let me go ahead and tap on May. And May opens up the scripture prompts that I sent out to everyone in May. In May, the topic was provision. But like I said, this is not dated. So if you want to work on provision in September, you can just jump over here and download the prompts for provision. I've also added a button to jump over to the community because we love to see and hear from you. It warms my heart and it motivates me and I know that it does the same for everyone else in the community. Okay, so let me just scroll down here. If you have completed the provision prompts, you can go ahead and mark them as complete. And of course, it will reflect on your main course page. You'll see a check mark in that little circle. If you haven't completed them, but you want to continue on to the next month, you'll just go ahead and click the next lesson. And that jumps us over to June. And June, I added the topic grace to the prompts. And then let's go ahead and jump over to July. In July, we have been working on the topic of trust. And one of the things that I want to point out here, the notes section. So on every lesson, you can hit your notes by tapping on this gray arrow. And I have actually added some notes and I added notes on Jeremiah 29:11. And that one was the last scripture of these prompts. And the way I added these notes is I hit the plus. And when you hit the plus, you can start typing your notes. And what I did was I typed out Jeremiah 29 11, And then I went to Bible Gateway and I copied the text and pasted the text inside my note area. I picked out any key words and listed them below. And then I also copied the link to where I found this verse on Bible Gateway. And what I did was I highlighted the scripture reference and then I tapped on link and I added the link inside there. And so whenever I come back to this page, I can see any notes that I've taken. Of course, I'm taking my main notes inside my faith journal, but I just thought I would show you how handy this may come in. You can also access your notes in just this lesson, or if you go ahead and you pull down this menu, you can add it to all lessons. That way you'll see notes compiled from all the lessons inside this membership, or you would just see anything that was on this topic, and it will only be accessible on this page. All right, after you're done typing out your note, you go ahead and save notes. You go ahead and tap the button that says save note and I'm going to tap cancel because I'm not making a new note. And then when you hit this down arrow, you'll be able to access your main area again. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next lesson. And here we have the prompts for August. And now I'll show you how to access them and what they look like inside the package. So I'm going to go ahead and download the daily prompts, the window that pops up inside my browser will ask me if I want to download and I will say yes. And then when this arrow jumps, I'll go ahead and tap it. And I have two in here because I downloaded one earlier. I think I downloaded the July. 
So I'm going to go ahead and tap this top one because that's the most current. And as you can see, it is a zipped file. So I'm going to unzip it by tapping it. And then my downloads folder automatically unzipped it for me. I'll go ahead and open the folder. And inside the folder, I have the cover sheet, my terms of use. And then in this folder, I have the documents. Now for some reason, the downloads folder is no longer showing me the file extensions. There are two PDFs in here and two PNGs. The reason that I've included two of each is one of them is color and one of them is minimalistic. And I'll just show you what the minimalistic looks like. So it's basically colorless. And then the color you can see it has some background color. So depending on what notebook you're going to put this in, if you have a color theme you're already using, or if you just want to see this in a very minimalistic view, that will determine which one you're going to import to your notebooks. Now, since I'm not seeing the file extension, I will just let you in on a little clue here. These bigger files are obviously the PNGs because PNGs are bigger than PDFs. So I'm certain that these smaller files are the PDF. When you tap on a PDF inside the downloads folder, you're going to see a little icon here on the left. If there were more pages, you'd see several icons. That's how you know that you have opened the PDF. The reason that I've included a PDF and a PNG is because if you want to add the scripture prompts to an existing page inside your notebook, for example, your iBible, your faith journal, or your iPlanner, then you would want to copy and paste the PNG. If you want to add it as a standalone page inside GoodNotes, you'll want to use the PDF. You can also, when you import it to GoodNotes, GoodNotes is going to say, do you want to import this to an existing document? You, so you can add it as a page that's included in one of your notebooks. Or like I said, a standalone page. And you could make a category section inside GoodNotes that you could label it scripture prompts. And you could just add all of those in there that way. So it just all depends on how you use your scripture prompt workflow. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And then let's just go back real quick to the new membership course. And so naturally, at the time of this recording, there won't be September currently. However, when you tap on a lesson and you see coming soon, you'll know that it will be there soon. Of course, the month is along with it. Of course, that gives you an idea of when these prompts will be posted. With that said, these pages look a little sparse currently. However, I'm going to be adding videos to these pages and some resource goodies. And this is just going to get built out more and more and more fun. And it's going to keep us motivated from month to month, even if you have already completed the iBible course. Okay, now it's time to hear from you. I want to know what you think. What do you think about this new membership course? And let me know where you're going to jump in at on which topic.